Advanced Features of Word Processor You have already learnt about MS Word and also used it to type letters, applications and other documents. Formatting and editing tools are used to design each page of a document. Here we shall know more about MS Word 2010. You can open MS Word as follows. Click on Start button. The Start menu appears. Click on All Apps. Select Microsoft Office. Click on the Microsoft Word 2010. The Microsoft Word program will load and a blank document will appear on your screen. Format Painter Format Painter helps us to apply the format of a paragraph on another paragraph or part of a document. It saves our time in repeated work of setting. For example, we have composed the document as shown below and want to apply the same formatting in last paragraph as we have used in first paragraph. Then take the steps as follows. Select the first paragraph from which you want to copy the settings. Right click the mouse and click on Format Painter. Select the last paragraph on which the setting is to be applied. Then you will see that the Format Painter has applied. That means the format of first paragraph applied on the last paragraph. Subscript and Superscript A subscript or superscript is a number, figure, symbol or indicator that is smaller than the normal line of type and is set slightly below or above it. Subscripts appear at below the baseline, while superscripts are above. To type in subscript in MS Word 2010, take the steps as follows. Select the text on which you want to apply the subscript formatting. Click on the subscript button. The text will be changed to subscript. To type in superscript in MS Word 2010, take the steps as follows. Select the text on which you want to apply the superscript formatting. Click on the superscript button. The text will be changed to superscript. Shadow effect You can apply shadow effect on any text in Word 2010. The method is as follows. Select the text on which you want to apply shadow effect. Click on the text effects button. A pop-up box will open up. Click on the shadow. You will see different type of shadow from which you can select any one to apply on your text. Reflection effect You can apply reflection effect on any text in Word 2010. The method is as follows. Select the text on which you want to apply reflection effect. Click on the Text Effects button. A pop-up box will open up. Click on the Reflection. You will see different types of reflection from which you can select any one to apply on your text. Working with line spacing. Change the spacing before and after the selected paragraphs. By default, paragraphs are followed by a blank line and headings have extra space above them. Select the paragraph. On the Page Layout tab, in Paragraph Group, click on arrow next to Spacing Before or Spacing After and enter the amount of space required. Line Spacing Options Single Default Option This option sets line spacing to one line. 1.5 lines. This option is one and one half times that of single line spacing. Double. This option is twice that of single line spacing. At least. This option 
sets at minimum amount of space between lines. Exactly. This option sets fixed line spacing expressed in points. Multiple. This sets the line spacing to accommodate multiple lines. Change the line spacing for paragraphs. Select the paragraphs for which you want to change the line spacing. On the Home tab, in Paragraph group, click on Line and Paragraph Spacing. Click on Line Spacing Options and select the option you want under Spacing. Using Tabs Use tabs to align text in your documents. By default, Word has tab stops every 0.5 inch on the ruler. Tab Stop Types there are five types of tab stops available which do the following. Left aligned. Text flows to the right. Centered. Text centers on this position as you type. Right aligned. Text flows to the left. Decimal aligned. Text aligns on the decimal point when using numbers. Bar. Inserts a vertical line at tab stop, setting tabs using the ruler. This is the easiest way to set tabs. If you can't see the ruler, click on view ruler at the top of the vertical scroll bar. Click anywhere on the ruler and you will set a tab stop. Arranging text with tables. If you need to include structured text in your document, then using a table is the easiest way to make sure that it will remain neatly formatted even when you edit it. Creating a table Click the table button on the insert tab of the ribbon. Drag the mouse along the grid that appears highlighting the number of rows and columns for the table. Release the mouse button to insert the table. Inserting text in a table. To insert the text in a table, simply place the cursor and click on the desired cell and start typing. Adding a new row. Place the cursor in any cell on the row you want to be adjacent to. Now under table tools, on the layout tab, in the rows and columns group, select insert above or insert below. Adding a new column. Place the cursor in any cell on the column you want to be adjacent to. Now select Insert Left or Insert Right under Table Tools on the Layout tab in the Rows and Columns group. Deleting Rows and Columns. Select the Rows or Column. Now right click on Table in the shortcut menu followed by Delete Rows or delete columns. The row or column is deleted and those above and below or right and left respectively are closed up to fill the space. 